Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create your own custom color palette in PowerPoint, picking colors right from your brand logo or from your website colors. I'll show you the entire process from beginning to end. So watch every step carefully till the end. First of all, why do you need to even bother about creating your own custom color palette? The first reason is the kind of colors you use in your presentation can make a difference to the kind of impact you make on your audience. For example, take a look at this presentation. We have quite a few interesting diagrams available here. Now I'm going to change the colors and you can see how the whole feel changes when I change the different color themes. Let us go to design, go to variance here in the design theme. In that you will see the color option. As I browse through the various colors, you can notice how this diagram changes. See, as I move my cursor over, the colors change and as a result, the diagram looks quite different from the original. And you can see some of them are energetic, some of them are cool, some of them are vibrant. There are quite a few interesting emotions that you bring out with the kind of colors you choose. Let us change the diagram. And let us take this one and see the kind of impact it makes. And you can see that these all make a difference. Now, what is more cool is for you to pick a color palette right from your brand colors. So there is a consistency in your communication and your brand promise across your various design assets. Now, how do we do that? Let me show you from step one. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. For this demonstration, I'm just going to pick up some random logo. So I went to pixabay.com, searched for logo, and I could see quite a few interesting options available here. Let us just pick one of the options available here as I go down. Uh, maybe this is a very interesting logo. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to download this and I'm going to pick the colors from this logo. So let us go to download and I can choose a PNG image. It doesn't really matter. So let me hit download. Here I am in the folder. I have the picture downloaded onto my downloads folder. Now I'm going to go to a website called coolers.co. C O O L O R S dot C O. I will leave a link to this site in the description box below the video. We don't have any affiliation to this site. It is just a useful resource that I happen to find and I'm sharing that with you. Now let us go down and we have the option to extract palette from image. So let me select that option and that opens up a nice interesting tool here. I'm going to first pick up an image and the image will be of that logo. So let me click here. I can upload an image or I can drop the image right away here. I'm going to choose the option of uploading. So let us click and let us go to the image that we had earlier. And here is the image. Now, right off the gate, you can see that this color palette is generated by picking up color samples from this brand logo. Now I can change the options here. You can see that there are only a few colors here. If I want, I can add more colors by going to picked palettes and I can increase the options here. Now I have more colors available. I also have the option of picking up specific colors from this logo. For example, if I want to pick up this blue color instead of this one, I can select this and I can see that this is the color that is picked. So you can see the circle. I can move that circle so it points to the blue. Now I have the blue color. So the various colors like the one from here, the one from here, the one from here are all picked up and that is how this particular color palette is generated. Now I'm going to export this palette to something called generator. So let us click on this option called open in the generator which comes when you click on this drop down menu. Let me go to open in the generator. And this is the color palette that we had just created. Now, the best part is you can choose these colors just the way they are. Or if you want to choose a different color from the one that you see here, you can do so as well. At any point of time, you can lock certain colors. For example, I want to have this color locked and this color locked and this color locked. And I want to have variations created for these two. All I need to do is to hit my space bar and I have 
a couple of colors that go with the remaining three colors. I don't really like these two colors, so I'm going to hit the space bar again, again, again. Now these two colors are quite interesting and I would like to have them as part of my palette so I can lock these. Now I want to have these colors as part of my custom color palette in PowerPoint. So let me go to PowerPoint and show you how to change the color palette. First you go to design, then go to the variance option, click on the drop down menu, go to colors and here you have the various ready-made color palettes available. If you want to create your own custom color palette, you need to go to customize colors option and that throws up this dialog box. Here we have quite a few options. I wouldn't normally bother with the first four colors because these are fairly standard. The color that you see here is the color of the text which is black and the background for that specific color is white. The second option you have for the text color is this kind of a blue and the background is white. So these are fairly standard. I don't really want to mess too much around with them. Now we are going to make changes to these six accent colors. So how do we change these accent colors? Very simple. Let me click on this, go to more colors and you will have the option to change the hex code here so you can pick up just that specific color for your accent one. Now, where do I get the hex value for the color from my previous palette? I can go here and go to this option, click on it and that gives me this option called picker. By default, you might have RGB. You just need to go to picker and that gives you this hex code. You select that, press control C to copy it so that you can pick the specific colors hex code go here and instead of this you press ctrl v now we have changed the color hex code and you say okay now the default color of accent one is changed to this specific one the same way you can change for accent two go to more colors go to hex let us go back again and let us pick up this one copy this particular color and then come back to powerpoint and change it to this one and you say, okay, now we have changed the second color. Likewise, you change the colors of the remaining ones as well. Let me do it very quickly for you so I don't really waste too much of your time. Now I've selected five of these accent colors. I need to pick a sixth color. So how do I change that? I can go here and you can see I only have five options. To generate the fifth one, I can select a color, I can unlock one of these and then use my space bar and I can choose one color that goes with the remaining ones and this one seems to be just the right one. So let me click on this and copy this color and then go back to PowerPoint and I would be able to have my sixth color chosen by going to more colors and by replacing this hex code. I can say okay, now we have all the six colors selected from our specific brand. I don't really want to mess with these two options. One is for the color of the hyperlink since the default color of hyperlink is blue. Let us not change that. And once a particular hyperlink is clicked, the color changes and that changed color is this one. These two are universally used and therefore let us not mess too much with them. And I'm going to give this my particular brand name. Maybe this is one eyed guy. I'm just taking the name from whatever the logo looks like and I say save. And as soon as I said yes, you can see that for this slide, that specific color palette is used. Now I can choose to apply the same color theme to any slide I want. For example, if I want to change this slide and its color theme, I can go here, go to colors and here I see my custom color called one eyed guy. I click on it and immediately the colors from the specific color palette are chosen and you see the result. The same is the case with this as well. All of these automatically change. In case if there are certain slides where the specific color theme is not applied, there is no problem. All you need to do is to go to the colors option here and then go to this specific color theme and say apply to all slides and then you can see that the same color theme is applied. Now there is one last thing to do and that is to save this custom color palette as part of a design theme so I can just click on the design theme option available here under design 
and I can instantly apply this color palette to any of my presentations. For that, I just need to go to the option under design tab, click on the drop down menu and you say save current theme and I can give this a name and I can save and it will be saved in this folder. Don't mess around with this folder. Just change the name and hit save and it will be saved as part of your design themes. And whenever you create a presentation and you want to apply this color theme, you just go here and choose that specific theme and instantly all the colors will be applied as per your custom color palette. If you like this video, then you will really love the information that you will find in this other video that we created a while back called three ways to choose the right colors for your business presentations. This video gives you some useful pointers that you can use in your next presentation. So click on the video link that you see right now on your screen. Go to this specific video and learn something about choosing the right colors for your business presentations. I'll see you inside that video.